as the elevation, T wave inversion, and eventually Q waves next day. Scarlet sign, Q. These are the hallmarks of acute injury and necrosis. But here is something to ponder. Have you heard of cardiac memory? Yes, heart cardiac memory. This fascinating phenomenon illustrates how the heart's electrical system can remember can remember abnormal activation patterns. Imagine a patient who has just experienced STEMI, that's the myocardial infarction. We successfully reperfuse the vessel, the ST elevations resolve, and the patient stabilizes. Yet, weeks or even months, why not years later, you might still see deeply inverted T waves on their electrocardiograph. They are not necessary signs of ongoing ischemia or reinfarction. Instead, they represent a persistent electrical remodeling, a memory of the preceding ischemic insult. So the heart, in essence, retains an electrical fingerprint of the damage, even after structural and functional recovery has begun. So this memory can complicate electrocardiography interpretation for future events and underscores their impact and uh, an MI has on myocardial electrophysiology. It's a silent reminder, reminder that the myocardial infarction isn't just an acute event. It's a profound uh, physiological Trauma, physiological trauma that reshapes the heart's function in lasting ways. So understanding cardiac memory challenges us to look beyond the immediate electrocardiography, changes and appreciate the long-term, long-term electrical legacy, legacy of an myocardial of an MI. It's a powerful illustration the heart's complex adaptive responsive and a crucial concept for us, for you and me, future clinicians. When you next see a patient post myocardial infarction, remember that their electrocardiography must, might be telling a story not just of the present, but also an echo from a past critical event, not just cure. Get it, stay blessed.